Crocodoc is one of my favorite new web apps. Uh, it's, it's a PDF annotator. So um, not just PDF, also web, but get to that in a moment. But um, you can upload an article or um, any kind of PDF document and mark it up on the web, no software involved, and even then share what your markup with of that document with anyone else through a URL. So I, I love this concept and they've made it super simple. So sort of just uh, browse and choose. So I'm choosing a document of my own for this time and it does its stuff and then prompts me to look at it. So here's the interface. It's really very simple. Um, let's see, I can highlight and this nice, this note functionality I think is really beautiful. That's actually the nicest note function I've seen. You know. There we go. <laughs> um, or just adding text and you can sort of give, they give you a bit of color. So it sort of makes your 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 document really a lot more like paper, which is kind of neat and kind of fun. Um, so there, and then I can share. Okay, fairly simple. I even embed it. A read-only embed, which is kind of nice. Stick it on a, a blog post and so forth, uh, or invite collaborators and have others uh, work on it as well. So that's that's pretty cool, but it's just one of the things that this is Crocodox quite useful for. The other is if there's a website that you need to annotate, you can also it will create a PDF out of whatever website you direct it to. Now it takes a screenshot based on what it's able to see rather than what you're able to see, which honestly is quite a neat way to see what uh, what somebody else might be, if you're a non-logged in sort of person would look would see. See on my on our website, I can I know we're going to end up with trouble because it doesn't handle Flash, so this has our Flash widget, our chat widget, and there's our books, which are not visible through here because of the oh and see in that one too. The Flash stuff doesn't come through, but other things do. So, and then you have the exact same you know, ability. This is just a PDF file there too. Um, if you're ever in a situation where you need a PDF version of a full website like this, you see that it's taken a shot of the entire page. So if that's um, a, a web, like a First Monday article, there's that you could do. Um, or if you just need the, the shot without having to piece together a bunch of screen caps, this is a pretty simple way to get a picture of a website. So um, I realize that what comes with something like this, the, uh, the ability to um, annotate an article, it, it requires the user to upload the article into a third party, so making a copy of it. And um, I, I, I realize as a librarian that we're probably, if I were to encourage others to use this to mark up an article for their own use, I may be um, encouraging something that's against our license agreements and that's really too bad because the, I don't think this isn't really intended to make a copy it's it's all about annotating something that exists um, and it's fairly well it's easy for st anybody to go in and um, delete their own documents afterwards so um, I'm quite I'm not I'm tempted to encourage students to use this um, instead of printing uh, articles off because it's actually just as easy to do this on the screen but I do worry about what that means in terms of um, copy, uh, copyright and licensing. Anyway, so that's Crocodoc. It's um, very cool, very useful, and um, free. There is the pro version to give you password protected uh, and encrypted, which is great. So, I mean, if we're looking for something uh, on, a, on a larger scale to be able to uh, allow faculty and students to mark up articles that might be a nice addition to, say, a database system or a catalog. That's Crocodile.